Take two of my intro. I'm Layla Parker. Mariam Kaiser. Siraj Abdul Noor. Hi, my name is Jake Green. Hi, I'm Claire Overton. It's Jessica Saavedra. I'm Ali. Olivia Delore. Chloe Munyan. And I'm graduating this May. And I'm going to be graduating this year, May 2024. My time at Emerson has been awesome. You can really be your true self here. My Emerson experience has been incredible. I'm a non traditional student. I'm part of the EPI cohort, the first inaugural, and um, I started in prison. And uh, to come in here and be embraced by uh, my fellow classmates and the professors and faculty um, was amazing. Just getting to see people come together and do what they're passionate about and speak out what they're passionate on makes this community a really great place. Overall, my experience at Emerson has been amazing. I would say one of my favorite memories was watching my team um, win the NUMAC championship. Transferring here, it changed, it really, it changed my life. I met so many people that were just super influential into helping me be who I am today. And that sounds so dumb, but it's so true. All four years for me were very different, but very different in a good way. My biggest high from Emerson was definitely going to LA this past fall. I took a variety of really great classes and I had a really great internship. I think college for everyone is a time of self-discovery and being at Emerson has really helped me do that. What do you think you're going to feel across the state graduation? <gasps> yeah, that's such a deep question. Oh. Oh man. I think walking across the stage at graduation is going to be very Hey mom! Bye college! It's like the most lit, it's lit moss. Is Best what it is. day ever! Yeah. <laughs> I'm bored, I just yeah, wanna go I'm home. Bored. I'm done, I, like, I, I, I saw my walk. friends. It's especially tragic that we didn't get to have our graduation back in 2020 with high school because of the pandemic. So it's been very cathartic for us to be able to get all of this support from Emerson here in 2024. It's an honor to be here celebrating your graduation with your friends, hi, <laughs> with your friends and family. On Drag Race, before each lip sync for your life, RuPaul says, good luck and don't f it up. But when it comes to this journey you're about to embark on, I say it's okay to f it up. I, I say it's fine to f it up over and over and over again. It's the experiences that create the opportunities. It's the experiences that build your endurance. And it's the experiences and the connections that you make with one another that remind you and reinforce your kindness. You know, in Jersey, we have a tradition when celebrating special occasions. We often share lottery tickets as gifts. And so my dad and I, decided to get each of you guys, if you reach under your seat, we got each of you guys a lottery ticket. And the, seriously, reach under your seats. They're there in an envelope, and maybe somebody will win, but probably, maybe someone will win, probably most of you will lose, but that's okay, because losing is the new winning. Good luck, class of 2024. Can we please make some noise for the Emerson College graduating class of 2024? When we uplift and support one another, we are truly unstoppable. Together, we will build an industry that champions every voice, every story, every dream. The future is ours for the making. So my fellow graduates, let's not just aim for success, let's redefine it. Because with our talent, our resilience, 
and our unmatched ability to quote obscure art house films, there's nothing we can't achieve. Here's to making the world our stage and occasionally remembering our lines. My fellow Emersonians, let's turn the page and start writing our next great adventure. Thank you. I think walking across the stage at graduation is gonna be very surreal. I've been in school for the past probably 15 years of my life and it's finally coming to a close and I'm happy because I get to pursue the career that I want to pursue. I think I'll be crying. Um, I think I'll be very overwhelmed just with excitement and happiness. The fact that four years, one has come to an end so fast. I don't think I'm gonna believe it for like the time I walk across that stage because it just feels so soon that I'm gonna be walking in front of the community. It might be a little underwhelming because it's gonna be quick, but I'm just excited to have my family and friends support me and kind of just take the day and celebrate it. It's gonna feel super weird because I never had a graduation. This is my one and only. So I guess, I guess it'll kind of be fun. Being able to walk across the stage for the first time, saying that I'm graduating college is something I've always dreamed of doing. I can't believe that it's in my very near future. I think it's gonna be very empowering. When I walk across the stage at commencement, I am definitely gonna be thinking about my family and how supportive they've been. Um, and it's definitely gonna be bittersweet. I think I'm relieved to kind of be moving on in life, but I'm definitely gonna miss Boston and miss Emerson. So I took a gap year between high school and college, so I've been waiting for this moment since uh, May of 2019. Um, but I'm really, really excited and I can't wait to, I don't, I don't know how I'm gonna feel other than that I'm gonna feel relieved and really happy. Oh man, that's a, it's gonna be a dream come true. I believe I'm gonna be happy. I believe I'm gonna be elated. Um, I'm doing this for myself, but I'm also doing it for my, my mother. Uh, my mother recently passed away, um, last month actually, and that was tough. You know, she wanted to see me graduate, so I got to do it for her. joining the Bon Appetit Management Company as a marketing specialist. I will actually be coming back to Emerson's campus to do this job, so basically just living my life again, but not as a student, as a full-time employee. Very shortly after graduation, I will be starting my job as a TV news reporter in Springfield, Mass, and I'm very excited to start my career. I hope to work on like a ton of projects with the people I love and make something really cool. After graduation, I'll be moving to Charlotte, North Carolina, where I'll be doing a marketing internship with their local NBC station. So I'm very grateful to say that I will be continuing my graduate education at Emerson College. I'm very, very excited. I couldn't have been happier to be able to make the decision to stay here. Emerson has an incredible program. We're in a great location, lots of connections, extremely reputable. So I feel very, very lucky that I get to continue my education here at Emerson for the next two years.